Before we start this video, I would like to hint on something that we are working from quite a while and from few months. Yeah, that's a thing that we are going to release very soon. Greetings, this is Ayush here from Radness Tech and today we are going to touch on a topic that comes on almost everyone's mind, sometimes or other. I know, most of you might be wondering things like can I get a drone in India? How can I buy a drone in India? Is it legal to fly a drone in India? We are here to answer all your questions on how can you get a drone and all the legalities in 2020. But before we get started, I suggest you to hit the bell icon and the subscribe button so that you get notified each time you upload a new video. I was flying my drone here. The police comes up to me and he's like, what are you doing? I was flying the drone. Some people were looking at my screen and saw his hand on his pocket and he took his badge and said, I work for the police. He didn't seem very happy and he actually asked for my passport. So now coming to the drones in India, maybe it must have been the Spider-Man away from home that made you think to purchase a drone or maybe you wanted to go up there and enjoy the area shot. At some point of time, you might have thought of not purchasing a drone because you didn't want to get in trouble or you didn't know the rules. But let me tell you one thing, it is way easier than you think. It's not like we're in the last decade where the Indian government has banned the usage of drones. But in 2020, Indian government has legalized the use of drones under some rules and regulations. We can register and get your drone legalized in just 10 minutes. So when it comes to drones in India, you need to get registered with the DGCA. That is Directory General of Civil Aviation. They are not called drones, but RPS, remotely piloted aircraft. When you head towards their website, don't get intimidated by long terminologies. Once you are legally allowed to fly, you will obtain two things. The first one is DAN, drone acknowledgement number, and the second one is ON, ownership acknowledgement number. Basically, the ON ensures that you are the owner of the drone, and DAN is just a number given to the drone. Maybe you could have one or more drones. To allow that, you also have a DAN. For registering your drone, you can register it as a personal drone or also as an organizational drone. Here is what you will require if you plan to get as an individual. Passport or other card, electricity bill or gas bill, three photographs of your drone, and your highest achieved education certificate. Can't fly it if you don't have a degree. Finally, some good use of a college degree. Moreover, if you want to get it as an organization, then you will need two things. First is the PAN number and the second is the number of people in your organization along with your logo. I'm trying to make this big boring set of rules as short as possible, so bear with me. According to DGCA, your drones can be in one of this category. Nano, which weighs less than 250 grams. Micro, which weighs 250 grams to 2 kgs. Small, ranging from 2 kgs to 25 kgs. Medium, ranging from 25 kgs to 150 kgs. And the large ones, greater than 150 kgs. Now my personal preference would be to get a drone less than 250 grams so that you don't have to register it. I would suggest some drones like Also your drone has to be NPNT compliant. That is no permission, no takeoff. Before you can actually fly your drone, you need to take a permission. If that is approved, then only you can fly your drone. If you do so anyway, you might have to head towards the port. So here are some of the rules you need to take care of while flying a drone. Drone pilots must maintain a direct visual line of sight at all the times while flying a drone. Drones cannot be flown more than 400 feet vertically. Drones cannot be flown in the areas specified as no-fly zones, specifically areas such as airports and international borders. Permission to fly in controlled airspace can be obtained by filing a flight plan and obtaining a unique air defense clearance or flight information center number. All that in mind, go ahead and enjoy getting high. Here are some of the amazing footages and also photographs that are captured by a drone. With all these rules, I hope you have a clear understanding on how to get your drone in air. I hope this video helped you. If it did, leave a like, comment down below and subscribe to our channel. Until the next video, stay safe, stay home and stay right.